<laughs> this your girl, My Way K, with My Way Magazine, and we live with Bar Talk Radio yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This your My boy. co-host, J Rock Money. Yes, I rocks with money. Uh-huh. Can we? Can uh-huh. we get in? Oh yeah, there we go. We we look so much better. Okay, so I have some things that I said that I did want to get off my chest today. Yeah, it's been some things that's going on out here, the tragedies, mm-hmm. and all of the things of the sort. Oh, and yeah, um, let them know, girl. Mm-hmm. it's not the happiest time. No, it's not. In the world, mm-hmm. but I know somebody out here is happy. You know what I'm saying? Although mm-hmm. things could be a lot better, it could be a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? And that um. Is true too. Listen to how y'all. We have to just uh come together as a community and be there for one another and unity, people. We need to unite. <laughs> y'all ain't even hearing this. So I've been over here just thinking or just asking God, like, what is it that I need to say? Like, why? What is it that you you know want me to say? What? Because you know I don't really. And he said to you, "What is it, my child, that you so ever?" Ask for you shall receive. So if you just want to speak, speak, and I will take over thy tongue. Oh. So. Okay. We gonna let him speak. Hey, hey. Okay. Light it up, girl. Okay, so. Let him speak through you, girl. I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Um. Mm-hmm. I just feel like mm-hmm. things have to be different. We have to want different. We have to do different. Yes. We have to do different things to get new results. So you tired of the same old, same old results. You tired of that it's, the insanity. I feel you, girl. It's, it's insanity, it but then again, it's mm-hmm. like we go through the Trayvon Martins. We go oh, yeah. True, true, true. The Mike Browns. Preach. Calm down. We go through the Mike Browns. We go through the, you know, the... The things that we go through, yeah. the Jonathan Farrells, you feel what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it's a tragic time for, for all of us just to watch, to watch and witness. But, you know, going to HBCU, Clark Atlanta University, I, you know, my African-American study class, reading that African-American Odyssey book, like it took my mind to another level. Like I actually used to read these passages and learn about ourselves. But just imagine if I was in this time, I feel like. God does everything on purpose. I feel like with our ancestors, it's like they have bore and they have bared the pain of things that we probably wouldn't even been having the strength to go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? God chooses his people. And I feel like in those generations, they fought for us and they stood and went through trials and tribulations and stood the test and made sacrifices to lay out the next platform for us. But when we go through things, we try to thrive off of they pain and they hurt when we have no idea. We think that it's bad now. They literally did and went and encountered things that could not happen today in society. We would not have been able to be on a ship, on an on a odyssey. We wouldn't have been able to, you know, just been taken captive. We wouldn't have been able to been in prison. We wouldn't have been able to starve and hunger. That is not what we would have been able to do in 2016. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not taking away any of it. I'm not saying that any of this is not, you know, all of it is bad. All of it is wrong. But like, you reap what you sow. That's right. That's right. And, and I've just, and I've just been saying, and I've just been, you know, When you don't, when you sow forbidden fruit, you mm-hmm. gonna reap that forbidden fruit. Everything's right. not gonna be good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of things, not even that we might not have done, but it has been generations after generations that has planted some forbidden fruit mm-hmm. that, regardless from Back from last generations to new generations and new generations to come, somebody got to reap that forbidden fruit. And it's seeming like yeah. it's been a lot of forbidden fruit than some fruit for fruit. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like when we sow good fruit, we do reap good. That we do expect to harvest for the good. But in some ways, we are 
seeing that we have been sowing some bad seeds. Right, right, right. And we have to understand that the only thing, the only way that things are going to change is when we change, when we do things differently, when we be able, when we come to the conclusion that it is okay for us to step out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. When we understand that the God that we serve is limitless and he can do exceedingly and abundantly above all things we can think of asked for. Right. That's when we will realize that you know, the best is yet to come. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that you've been out here working, not just praying, but you've been working because faith without works is it's dead. dead. We all you know, know what that. I'm saying? That's, that's the truth of the matter. And mm -hmm. If you praying for it, yes, praise God. But if you're not out here working, why should I give you anything that you have not worked for? God shows us mercy and he shows us grace, what we don't deserve. You feel what I'm saying? He gives that to us anyway. But what I'm saying is it could be a lot better if you just get what he did according to his will. Lord, let your will be done as it is in heaven than it, like it is on earth. So let his will be done. You know what I'm saying? Like just being out here and we've seen the Jesse Williams a lot of people are slamming him just because of he spoke the truth you feel what I'm saying and a lot of people not other people of different colors because if we're a color clearly they're a color too so people yeah. of color <laughs> wouldn't understand that's right Tell them so when you put Jesse Williams on a platform God didn't just say Jesse I want you to go out here and be on this platform to Say something to these people ears to like let it be some ear candy he didn't mm -hmm. say i need you to go up there and just tell them so y'all can have church so then they can mm -hmm. go back out yeah. and feel like oh my god the bet awards it was good this year but y'all not taking on this information that is given to you see there's no point of asking god for wisdom if he ain't gonna use it it ain't mm -hmm. no point of asking God for discernment to show me the people who are there for me and then when you fall out with your best friend you still trying to make it work but you've been understanding what you've been seeing the whole time they've been treating you bad they've been taking from you they've been stealing to you know from you take advantage of but you still go back sometimes it's just easier to let go but back to Jesse what I'm saying is he did not get on that platform to sacrifice himself to sacrifice anything you know because people have signed a petition to get him off of Grey's Anatomy like this is real folks so it's not to go on platforms as such as these to sit up here to tell you something that you can be like, mm hmm, to go on here on Facebook to quote me so I can get what 50 more thousand likes on top of the likes that I already got. But since you shared what I got, now I'm getting more. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it's more to this. It's like I say with the whole lemonade thing, Beyonce basically just called up every woman in the world in her ipod in her phone in her car in the cd player she has just called all of y'all on speed dial to confront y'all but then again what are we doing with the information besides spreading it again like she didn't already say it because that's what we know that's how we live in now what are we doing with the information we're not taking on the information we are not we are just listening. There's no action behind the words. Like just like with love, love is an action word, and what we show is hate. That ain't love. Love is slow to anger. Love is patient, kind, and genuine. Mm -hmm. That is what love is. That's what God is. God is love. A lot of us don't know Him, so we don't know how to love. It says to love thy neighbor. We don't love thy neighbor. We will watch our neighbor fall while we take the picture and the video of it. We will go to our neighbor and say. Give me this instead of saying, hey, how you doing? Um, first, <laughs> ask me how I'm doing. But anyway, yeah. what I'm saying is we have to take heed to the information that's given given unto us. We have to not lean unto our own understanding, but, mm -hmm. standing, but to ask God for wisdom. Ask him for, you know, guidance. You know, why am I going through this? Can I have clarity, Lord? You know, I cannot do this on my own. Order my steps. And then sometimes we gotta ask him to renew our steps. Renew my steps. Renew my steps. Renew my steps. So how you doing? So how you doing? <laughs> but um I just Man. came to just say that again, like Jesse Williams said about the brand, like I strongly believe that as African Americans, 
We can have our own brand. We don't have to continue to let the enemy allow to control us and manipulate us and mm -hmm. not act as if he needs us. But in reality, we don't need him. They need us. So it's like when we go through these things or these incidences or whatnot, we get so mad at them. But it's like, that's like getting in a, an argument or a relationship. And... All right, he just messed me up. All my train of thought. That was so rude. Okay, so next time. Hey, y'all, this is Bar Talk Radio, my way, K. But no, this is serious, though. This is no joke. Like, this is me really expressing myself because I feel like we do need to take heed of the situation. We do need to have things. We need to do things differently as a people. Just like I uh, just did an article on Tyrus Green from North, what is it, Greenville, North Carolina. He has his own nonprofit organization called Reload Inc. And it is a nonprofit committed to community outreach. So we need to get out here and stop just being a community on Facebook and we inviting people into the community just on another internet platform, but be a community in the face, in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's feel spirits. Let's cast out demons. Let's heal the sick. You feel what I'm saying? Like, let's go out here and be fruitful and plant these seeds so when it's time to harvest, we can rejoice. You feel what I'm saying? We don't have to be so bitter. We don't have to be so down. And then about the video, I had made a comment on Facebook to say, Facebook to say I am a journalist. I have a journalism degree. I do go out here to to report i am not a blogger you feel what i'm saying certain things like right now me voicing myself is like me really stepping out of my comfort zone or doing something different but i know it's time for me to speak but what i'm saying is is like i cannot allow myself to watch anything of that kind of sort simply because i know that it is not now a movie it is real life it is something that it's like telling a murderer take me to go with you so you can go kill Susie. I want to watch it. Why would you want to open your mind to something that now you cannot shut off? Now there is fear, but God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of self-confidence and self-control. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be willing to turn stuff off. We have to be able to know when there enough is enough. That if that is how y'all want to act behind the scenes, if y'all want to call yourself being the police and y'all love us and all this kind of stuff, but y'all keep killing us, cool. We got plenty of uncles and dads and aunties that's out here protecting our people and our children better than they are. And they the ones that just got, you know, the forces that don't need to be forced. But y'all are a force to be reckoned with. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, just like it's somebody that you don't care about and that you don't like about them, you throw the deuces and you keep it moving. Throw the deuces and keeping them moving. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just do right. There's no need to bring them on. Slow down. Stop speeding. Put your seatbelt on. You feel what I'm saying? Just do everything of the laws and how, how it goes. And we will not have no reason. I'm saying that that is a reason to do what they did. I'm not saying that. I'm not taking away from that. Evil is evil. Evil is evil. And it is out there. And I keep seeing people say war. It is more than just a war with flesh. It is a spiritual warfare out here guys y'all have to slay these demons with the tongue life and death is in the power of the tongue you have to slay these dragons and this everything is all in the spiritual that's that's what it is if you can believe in demons you can believe in angels it is in the spirit and you have to cover yourself please just plead the blood of jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet it is real out here life is more than just a game it is more than just the turn up it is more than just the thursday night bible study that is the thing when Jesse Williams got on the platform, y'all left in, everybody felt all good, oh yes, and y'all walked out, and everybody lived their life again. No, that's just like the church. Don't just go to church on Sunday, because you, you love the Lord, and you go to church on Sunday. Learn how to be the church inside and out. Now take what you just learned from this great sermon and go give it to your people. Now go feed your f people with fruit, with fruit, with fruit, good fruit, you feel what I'm saying? But that's not what we're doing. We're not being, we be in the church on Wednesday, Tuesday, and Sunday, but not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Because we feel like we might be losing something. Because we feel like we might need to have to give up something. It's going to be replaced with good. It's all for your good. God said all things work out for the good of those, good of those who love him. He sees everything. God, Elroy. He's God who sees everything. He sees everything. All this stuff that is going on right now, this is still forbidden fruit. And you know what? 
the people after this again are going to reap this same fruit that this same seed that we don't plant it why because it gotta grow That's right. so what are you going to do differently about you and your family and your household we have called